Hey guys and welcome to an extract guide for reserve. On this I'm going to be showing you all of the PMC plus scavs extracts on this map. Bear in mind this is going to be a live recording not a voiceover so if I stumble over my words I am sorry but we are going to start off. So we are by the train station, the one that's kind of like blown up a little bit, well a little bit, there's a giant hole. Um, yeah, so we're over here, this is where the train extract is, but we're not going to start with that because I'm going to show you that actually. To start off, we are going to be going to Heating Pipe, which is this location over here. So this is a scav only extract. So if you're a PMC, you cannot extract from this location, just bear that in mind. So this is the train station, what you need to do is head north. This is the bunker over here and you see these two pipes going over the wall this is the extract right here just bear in mind you are quite open you have this location over here that people like to always happen to be by whenever i'm at this extract as well as this hill over here where the bunker is so we're going to move on around the next location that we're going to be hitting up is the scavlands extract so this one's a bit special, this is where a PMC and a scav have to extract together, not one or the other, it has to be together. So you have to find a friendly scav or a friendly PMC which is really hard to do in Tarkov. So over here you have got the uh, barracks area and then you've got this tank ATV kind of thing, someone's going to tell me in the comments, and then this road that leads all the way down to where another one of these tank ATV things are. And this is the extract here. This is at the very north of the map as well. When you extract from this location, you will get a message from Fence and he'll give you some random high valuable uh, items in your messages. So the next location is Hole in the Fence by Mountain, which is another scav extract just over in this location. The thing with reserve is it heavily favours scavs over PMCs for the extracts. So you will see a lot of player scavs at this place. So just bear that in mind if you're a player scav yourself. Personally, I always try to wiggle. But with the current rise in popularity of this game, I'm not going to lie, I do shoot on sight. It's just kind of how Tarkov times have changed. So you can see here the giant helicopter right here. you got the barracks. This is the East Barracks where Boscav likes to spawn. If you run out the back, you've got a bunker here to the right that you cannot access. There's a bunker over there to the left with a radar um, tank at the top. You have this uh, lookout tower and then just to the left of the lookout tower you have this broken fence here. And this is the hole in the fence by the mountain which is a scav extract. Once again this is actually really open. All of these rooms here are accessible, so good luck not getting sniped on this one. I haven't actually ever been sniped at that extract, which is quite lucky. Okay, so the next one is going to be Cliff Descent. Now, with Cliff Descent, we need to go all the way up to this tower up here. I'm going to fast forward it, so I ain't got to fill it up with random crap about the game. Okay, so we're just arriving. There are multiple different ways of coming up here. I wouldn't ever recommend running up this hill. Just because running in this game is so loud, you're going to get spot. So up here is where a lot of people like to camp, as well as the dome itself. And a lot of time where I've killed people, I've heard them running before they've arrived. So running up to this location, I just wouldn't recommend it. So what you want to do is go around the back of the building. Just over here. And you've got this big old tree. And then you've got a fence, which is this is basically a 45 degree angle. No, 95, sorry. 95, 90 degree angle right here. And this is the extract. You cannot climb in your body armor. So for these kind of extracts, you cannot have body armor on. But you need to have a RR, which is a Red Rebel Ice Pick, and a Paracord. I do have a video on the Red Rebel Ice Pick. If you want to see how you can get it for yourself without buying it from the flea market. So as soon as I drop my armor on the ground... The extract will start. 
The thing about this is, you can always put your armor in your backpack and then extract. Obviously, it's going to take up space. There are a few bushes around, <clears throat> around this location. But I wouldn't throw it in a bush that close to here, so maybe up there. Because if you throw it in a bush around here, people always come up here and check to see if, you know, people have extracted from this location. You can extract with a backpack. So if you've got one of those giant backpacks with armors inside armors inside armors, you can extract from this location. You just cannot have the body armor. Okay, so we are going to move on. The next location we're going to go to is CP Fence. Oh, sorry, that is a PMC only extract. I mean, you have to have a red rebel ice pick and a paracord, so the luck of finding it in a scav raid is like none, but it is a PMC only extract. So, the next location we're going to go to is CP Fence, which is a scav only extract, which is just down here to the left. This is one of, in my opinion, the safest extracts for me. I've never been shot at or anything. So you can see the tower over here to the south and then just west of the tower you have this tree by itself next to this tank and I think this time it is actually a tank. At this location over here is the extract just here. You do have the repair yard just over here. If I jump up here. Yeah so you've got the repair yard and then you've got the barracks and that's like the high value loot area. Where everyone goes to get their, you know, valuables in this map. The next location we're going to be going to is the sewer manhole, which is literally right next to us. This is a scav and a PMC extract. The thing about this extract is you cannot have a bag. So if you have a bag, you have to throw it on the ground, and then you know you can extract. So with this one, you get this a lot with hatchling runners where they're going to have giant tactical rigs there's a few big ass ones in this game and what they'll do is spawn in go rush over here and then come straight over here to extract so if you're if you spawn early then you can always come over here and wait for those little hatchling boys and you can kill them take their loot and then good days i mean some of them carry pistols now but you know just bear that in mind okay that is a scav and pmc extract the next location we are going to go to is Depot Hermatic Door, which is over in this direction. It is just south of the train station, in between the both, both of them. You'll see a giant uh, brick building, like a tower. Scab boss sometimes like to go in there and absolutely wreck the map. The first time I played this, he was in there. And generally thought that I got killed by hackers until I saw the name. Alright, so it's this building right here in front of us. So there are multiple ways to get down to this extract. I'll show you both of them. So, the only way you can get in here, you can access it from the top. There are two different sections. The top and the bottom. What you need to do is go through the bottom. Follow it around to the right. Go down this place. Bear in mind again, you don't want to run because people are going to hear you. And then obviously shoot you and you're going to get jump scared. Like what I did. And then the extract is this door over to the left. Now the other way is through the underground section. So this is where the bunker is. Down here to the right is the endless section where it just ends. There's a giant door there. And then over here to the left is the way you come down. So what you can do if you do come down from the ramps. You want to go all the way down to the end past this cage. So you've got two cages, this cage and this cage. You want to go in between these two cages and then on your right you'll see the door and then the extract is right down the end. So these are the easy extracts. That was a scav extract, just bear that in mind. So with the next two extracts they require a bit more work. So the first one we're going to do is a bunker hermatic door. This is a scav and PMC extract. But it is triggered through a series of events. So, you see that wonderful red light there? That is the extract. The way you trigger this extract, right, I'm going to show you. It's all the way back over by the barracks. I could have activated it, but I didn't want to listen to the bloody siren. So, that's the extract. Let's go head over towards the barracks. I will speed this up.
Okay, we're just coming up to it. You're going to notice that we're right north of the dome. So this is a prime sniper spot. And the thing about this extract is that it is so obvious because a blaring alarm goes off. That annoying alarm that goes off for around about four minutes. It is just an absolute pain in my opinion. I am, um, yeah, Drex your ears. So I'm going to show you a way of pulling the lever. By the way, I'll show you where the lever is. The lever is just here. I'm going to show you where to pull in the lever and then get into safety really quickly. So there's two ways of doing it. Obviously when you pull the lever, you want to go to your extract. That's the whole point of pulling it. Bear in mind also that pulling this lever also spawns raiders at that train yard. The one that's knocked down. Um, they can also spawn over here as well, but it's mainly over that train yard. All right, so when you're pulling the lever, you need to bounce quick because that tower, that, that radar dish is going to know, obviously, there's someone in here. We're going to aim for that straight away. Bear in mind that bushes slow you down in this game. So if we pull that lever from between these bushes, you can bunny hop if you're good at the game. And then just come straight into this building. You do need to crash to get through that window, but now you're safe from the nasty thermal snipers that are sitting up there. So what you do once you're through this way, pull it around here, open up this door, and then go all the way down here. This is a high value loot area, so you might see some people over here. But usually when you're pulling that lever, you want to get out and it's usually quite far past the game, you know, through the, through the, through the game at the moment. And then come through this door, wash over to this one, And go through this door, go out over these pallets, and what you can do is you can jump on top of this water barrel over and then make your way to the extract. Bear in mind you are open to the sniper at this point. You just got to try and play the game with line of sight, but you just got to try and cut off your line of sight over to this area. Obviously you're going to be fully open over here and of course the raiders they're going to come and make an appearance. But this is the way that I take to the to the extract. So there are multiple ways of getting to this extract. Obviously you can go through the giant door to the left. Or if you don't feel like you want to go through that door. You can go through the right one. Go along this metal walkway. Bear in mind it is loud going this way. Sometimes these metal ridges here can make a metal sound as well. You can see. People like to camp this extract when you pull it. So you can see the wonderful green light is turned on. And now you can extract. This isn't a one time use. This could be done multiple times during a raid. It is a long extract. So I like to sit behind this and then just you know, watch this area. People can nade this area. It has happened a few times, so just bear that in mind. Everyone knows you're extracting, basically, at this point. So you just got to play it carefully, and that alarm goes off for around about four minutes. Oh, no worry. So, just be careful. For the next extract, you can see why I didn't want to have the alarm on. For the next extract, this is going to be Armour Train. Now, this come between. 25 minutes to 35 minutes into the raid. The damn alarm. They go off at these towers, I believe. Something like that. And the train will come through here. I will sit here and wait. But the train will come through here. And then you can extract. Alright, time for a waiting game. Okay, so it is finally here. What's the time? 18 minutes. When it arrives, what it likes to do is two horns like that. Just to let everyone know on the map that it has arrived. There's four ways to enter the train. Oh, the wheels move. That's cool. 
Okay. So there are four ways to enter this train. You have this door. And this door. Find the gap, obviously. I wonder if I'm not going to try and get stuck down there. And then you got two doors at the back of the train. So there are a few decent spots that you can hide in. Everywhere you can decently hide is I've got a window next to it. Um, my favorite spot inside this location is actually behind this water tank. Yes, you are fully open here. But nine times out of ten you can actually hear them come from here. And you can, if you stand up, you can actually shoot out and kill people here. As well as you can see people if they're going to come from the right or the left. And not a lot of people expect you from here. So you can just quickly pop your head out and go hello. You have a ticket. You have got a few cases inside this train. So you got this wonderful um, weapons case. You got this ammo case. What was that? Nade? I always get confused which one it is. It's a nade case. And then coming further back. I think there was... I don't know that was it, you know? Oh no, we got this one on top of here. Which is a weapon case. I feel like that should be like a little mid-box. But yeah, so this is the way into the train at the back. They did say, I remember seeing a Reddit post, if you stand here on the back of the train, <laughs> you can... You can uh, not extract with the train, but it'll take you out. Out there, you can't get shot by the snipers, so that'd be interesting to see. I will try that at the end. But guys, this is the end of the video. Like I said before, this well, this is the entire map. I'll tell you some more stuff about this train. Actually, I forgot a few things. So with this train, it honks one one minute before it leaves. So when you hear just a one honk, you have a single minute to get to this train. And then it honks twice and then the doors close instantly after that last honk. So guys, if you're not inside the train at that point, you're kind of screwed. This is also another good spot at the back of the train. The thing about this one is nades can land. So if you get a firefight, nades usually land here, which means that they're just going to, you know, kill you. Just bear that in mind. There are a decent amount of few spots. Obviously, everyone's going to be trying to look for the, at the front of the train more than at the back. You don't usually see many people come through the back, personally. I don't. Anyway. So, guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. Hopefully, this train extract. This is the my preferred extract. I'm not a big fan of that bunker-matic door because everyone knows that you're here. And usually when it gets to this stage of the game, when you're the only one left... And, you know, you've got the train next to it. You can usually lock it down and make sure no one comes on. I like to just throw a few shots just to let people know I'm in the train. So possibly if player scavs or something along the lines want to come and say hi. And they don't have a ticket. You can reject that. Reject that player. So guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. I'm going to try and do this. This little thing on the back of this train. Oh, no. I'm going to be able to do it now. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to try and do this thing in the back of the train. If it's successful, then you're going to see at the end. If not, then, you know, it wasn't successful. But guys, thank you again for watching. Hopefully you found this guide useful. We do have more extract guides on every map. Um, so far, it's just customs. But over time, by the time you're watching this in like, I don't know, a week or so, we will have extract guides on everyone. So they'll be linked in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so the doors are closing. People inside have extracted. Oh, no, there you go. There's the doors closing. And then the extract timer comes up. It's instant. Oh, we're moving. Oh no! Oh, you can't do it anymore! Oh no! Alright guys, well that didn't work out. <laughs> Have a good one.